He, he is wild, he is crazy, there's never a dull moment when he is around. Troy Casey! Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Troy Casey. I'm here to entertain your soul this evening. First of all, I'd just like to give a bunch of love out to everybody. And a big fucking bucket of love. Okay, now that we've got that uh, new age granola out of the way. Let's just get something straight, folks. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Hate me because I'm an asshole. <laughs> and being an anal orifice is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> so, uh, it's a really funny thing. Uh, people can talk about my looks all day long, but the second I mention it, I'm an asshole. <laughs> the reason I know this is uh, I was a model for many years. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But I had to quit that job. I was too sexy for my underpants. Not to mention, those fuckers didn't have any fashion sense anyways. Fuck them. So anyways, I did have an audition the other day and uh, my girlfriend dropped me off and she's, uh, she's like, uh, break a leg, honey. And I was like, <laughs> Okay, sweetie, it wasn't that, it's not that type of audition, uh, it's a print job. <laughs> Thank you. So she said, uh, <laughs> so I said, no, it's a print job. And she says, okay, well then, suck a mean cock. <laughs> yes, so this illustrates uh, uh, the whole unscrupulous uh, business of modeling. <laughs> Motherfuckers trying to get in your underpants all the time. <laughs> Quite the difficult job, let me tell you. There was many uh, stress-related uh, anxieties in modeling. A lot of standing around. <laughs> <laughs> to deal with this <clears throat> stress, um, it behooved a model to do copious amounts of drugs. <laughs> and, and thank God I had the proper upbringing. <laughs> Because my parents were hippies from the Haight-Ashbury era, San Francisco. And they used to like to put acid on my Fruit Loops. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you guys think that's funny. Uh, see, I was a little hyper and they figured, hey, let's give them a conscious awakening and you know, maybe it would slow them down. Anybody see the movie Chucky? That was me, Haight-Ashbury, running around. A funny Chucky, though. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, actually grateful for my parents um, and, and everything that happened. So I'd like to take the time right now to thank God, my mother and father, because they gave me a very large dick. <laughs> and they circumcised it. It's the circumcised, supersized combo package. So, um, this endowment has given me more confidence than a Harvard education. <laughs> than a real hit with the ladies. And it's given me a high level of street credibility. Any brothers in the house? <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyhow, what I like to do with my big dick is fuck. <laughs> Anybody like to fuck here? I'm not talking about make love or any of that shit, right? I'm talking about fuck. I'm talking about getting down and dirty. I'm talking about busting out the extra virgin olive oil, because this is some psycho Billy shit I learned in Italy when I was there, and just pouring it all over and fucking mounting your prey and getting down and just doing it. <laughs> and sometimes the girlfriend is like, honey, don't you think you might enjoy it a little bit if you slowed down a little bit? 
and this stops me right in my tracks. <laughs> and I go, slow down. That's some feminist cerebral concoction for cunnilingus. Which, by the way, I practice. But right now, we're in Neanderthal man mode, and I'm fucking. But since we're on the subject of sexual evolution, why don't we practice a little gestalt therapy here? And I'll be responsible for my orgasm, and you be responsible for yours. <laughs> I'm glad you guys think that's funny. Because I don't have a fucking girlfriend anymore. You know, and I was in love. And let me tell you, I know what love is. Because this relationship was different from my last relationship. My last relationship, it took at least two months for me to tell that girl that she was such a fucking cunt. <laughs> Anyhow, today was Sunday. On Sunday morning, I like to wake up, have my coffee, jump on the computer, rip down my clothes, boot up some internet, internet porn, and wait for the Jehovah Witnesses to come up. Anybody know these people? Knock, knock, knock. Um, who the fuck is this, you know? Okay. Hi, have you heard the word of God today? Uh, no, but if you see my big dick? <laughs> yeah. They like that. They do. Anyways, I'd like to leave you right now with my impression of Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> The 405. What is it? <laughs> they call it a freeway, but it's really a parking lot. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>